Welcome to another episode of Teammates. This is the SMSU Volleyball Edition. We've got Peyton Jerlin. We've got Meg Schmidt. We've got a couple of upperclassmen. We'll see who knows more about their teammate. Meg, what is the one meal that Peyton says she can cook to perfection? Um, probably a salad because she's a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> no. Can you really even cook a salad? I mean, this is about cooking, but... In a bowl? The, mix it? Yeah, I suppose, but at least you got the vegetarian part right. But, but Peyton, what is it? Quesadilla. <laughs> With no chicken? Just a quesadilla cheese? Yeah, just some cheese. Is, is a vegetarian quesadilla just cheese, or is it like cheese and peppers? Um, well, mine is refried beans, cheese, and then a bunch of veggies on top. <laughs> Does it, does it take a lot of skill to cook it, or have you kind of mastered how long it takes on each side? Oh, um, definitely mastered. Yeah. Real chef. Peyton, whom did Meg say is her favorite cartoon character? Oh, gosh. Um, I think she likes Winnie the Pooh, so I'm going to guess Winnie the Pooh. You got it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You're just upset she got it right. <laughs> so why is Winnie the Pooh your favorite character? Because he's so sweet and loves honey. So I don't know. He's, I just remember him being so sweet and cute. So Meg, what game show did Peyton say she could legitimately win? Oh, <laughs> Peyton's very competitive. So I could see her on like Family Feud or Wipeout. I think because she's so competitive, I would say Wipeout. You got it. Why Wipeout? What 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 about Wipeout makes you think you could win, babe? Um. Well, like she said, it's competitive and it requires a little bit of athleticism. So I think I could. I think I could win it. Meg has tied things up one to one. So Peyton, your chance to move ahead again. What movie does Meg love? that most everyone else seems to hate. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm not sure. It's not a horror movie. She hates being scared. So I'm gonna go with some sort of like romantic movie maybe. So like, but people like The Notebook, but I'm gonna guess The Notebook. <laughs> nope. No, Meg said Wally, and <laughs> even though you got it wrong, it's going to count as wrong. I'm going to say this: Rotten Tomatoes, which can, which has all the critics' consensus, has a 95% approval rating. So I don't necessarily know if everyone else hates Wally. Why do you think other people not don't like that? I don't know. Honestly, this is a hard one for me because <laughs> I feel like everyone likes things differently. But I feel like when I watched it, no one in my family liked it but me. Okay, like, so, so so if you suggested on family movie night, they're they're already voting you down. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, based on your family situation, I'll I'll give that to you. But just as an FYI, pretty much everyone, except your family, apparently yeah. loves Wally. But you guys are tied. You've each gotten one right. You've each gotten one wrong. Last question for both of you. Meg, what is Peyton's spirit animal? <laughs> Oh boy. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna say a Mustang because we're the Mustangs, and I feel like she really embraces being a Mustang here. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Uh, it was, and I quote, a big dog. Stop. <laughs> I know you love small dogs, Meg, but I can't be a small dog. <laughs> so, so are you big dog like an English Mastiff compared to a Chihuahua as a small dog? Or, or, or yeah. what What dog do you embody the most? Or do you claim to embody the most? Gosh, um, probably like, like some sort of like a Labrador or a Golden Retriever, maybe. <laughs> Well, there you go. They're big enough dogs. So, all right. What this means is that Meg is one for three. So, Peyton, you have a chance to win. On this last question, Peyton, 
What is Meg's hidden talent? Meg's hidden talent. I think, Meg probably doesn't think this is her hidden talent, but I think that her hidden talent would be um, her capability to like be a really good speaker. So that would be her hidden talent. Mm, no. <laughs> Oddly enough, the, the hidden part of hidden talent is, is what Meg said. She says she's good at hide and seek. You are good at hide and seek. You are. I like how you're just realizing this now. I am. <laughs> we played the other day with this other person, and she literally, I hid in this room, and I hid in the back part of it, and then she walked in, she was scared of it, so she walked out, and then she walked back in, and I was hiding on the other side of the door, and she, then I just had to f show myself where I was, because she had looked forever and couldn't find me. Wait a second, so did you, you moved places after someone came into the room? Yep. Is that really hide and seek though? Because aren't you kind of cheating if you move around? Be smart, because they'll come back and look harder. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll give you credit for that. We are going to need the tiebreaker question because you both got one right and two wrong. So, in the 2019 season, as a team, how many total kills did you have for the entire season? You guys played 28 matches. Got to think about all the times it went to four sets, five sets, how many you got kills. There's a lot of math involved. That's why I picked this question. Yeah, because Megan and I are really good at math. <laughs> <laughs> it, it had to be a number, so. Okay. Um, Meg, why don't you guess first? I'm just going to say 3,100 kills. Okay, so Meg says 3,100. Peyton? Um, I'm going to say 3,800. 3,800. Well, those numbers would be fantastic for like three or four seasons because the correct answer is 1,528. So you were both extremely off, but even though I said the closest without going over, Meg was the closest in terms Woo! of only 1,600 kills off as opposed to 2,300 kills off. So Meg officially is the winner. Not only good at hide and seek, but good at teammates. Yes.